Supply chain costs are causing everything to be more expensive, but one company has thought of an ingenious way in order to cut costs. What's the answer? They built a 200 foot railroad that goes nowhere. Let me introduce you to the Bayside Canadian Railroad, a railroad that goes nowhere, carries nothing to market, but is absolutely critical to ensuring that you pay less for seafood. That's right, despite serving seemingly zero purpose, the Bayside Canadian Railroad has actually helped one seafood company save tens of millions of dollars over the last decade. And here is how it works. The American Seafoods Company pulls its ships into harbor. It then offloads tons of seafood products onto trucks, which then drives onto a rail car. It travels a whopping 200 feet in one direction, kicks it into reverse, and then travels 200 feet back. It then leaves the railroad, drives across the U.S. border to your local supermarket, and voila, your frozen pollock is suddenly cheaper. So what exactly causes the seemingly purposeless railroad to hold such amazing cost-cutting properties? And more importantly, do we need more Canadian railroads that go nowhere in order to solve the supply chain crisis? Well, probably not. Because the only way such an incredible waste of time, resources, and labor could ever produce cost savings to customers is if it was part of, oh, I don't know, say in a elaborate legal loophole. It turns out that the Bayside Railroad gives the American Seafoods Company a workaround to a 100-year-old law which requires companies to charter U.S. ships when transporting goods between two U.S. ports. Now, the cost of chartering American shipping is so outrageously expensive due to this monopoly that many companies simply do whatever they can to avoid having to ship anything between two U.S. ports. And that's where American Seafoods got the idea. They simply found a loophole in the law that carves out an exemption when part of the shipping route is carried over a Canadian railway. And that's when the company got the brilliant idea to simply carry their fish over by truck to the little port of Bayside, take an extra short railroad trip, and then cross the border into the United States without ever officially violating any American laws. In doing so, this tiny railroad in the middle of New Brunswick has helped the company save millions of dollars over the years, making it cheaper for them to transport their fish from Dutch Harbor, Alaska, all the way to the grocery store in your hometown. Now, you might be thinking that surely laws which have created such horrible unintended consequences are easily overturned, right? Wrong. Because in most cases, these laws have been on the books for decades and don't seem to be going anywhere. And the reason why has to do with concentrated interests and dispersed costs. As ridiculous as some of these regulations may be, believe me, someone somewhere is benefiting from restricting your access to the marketplace. Sometimes it's a powerful company or industry. Sometimes it's the interest of a large bureaucracy in order to justify its own existence. But in every single case, it involves an anti-free market, croniest marriage between the government and a special interest, which then allows them to sell you something more expensive than it would otherwise be, so it can protect its share in the marketplace.